it's 8 a.m. here in Singapore and Hong Kong. And if you're just joining us in CNA, welcome to Asia First. I'm Adam Bakhtia. And I'm Avril Hong. With what is trending and shaping the business day in Asia, here are your headlines. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller makes his first public remark since concluding his investigations, and they have led to fresh calls to impeach the president. Israel is set to return to polls after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu won the election but failed to form a governing coalition. The Pentagon briefs Congress on reducing reliance on Chinese rare earth minerals after Beijing's trade war threat. We have certainly got a lot of ground to cover in the next couple of hours on Asia First today. Also up ahead, Thailand's pro-army party struggles to cement a coalition after no party managed to win an outright majority in the 500-seat lower house. And speaking of politics, an Indian, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to be sworn in later today. And he makes a strategic move with his first state visit after being re-elected. Well, seven South Korean tourists are confirmed dead after a river cruise boat capsized in Hungary. Now, the boat carrying 34 people on board on, uh, bo bo on the boat sank, pardon me, in the Danube River in the capital of Budapest. South Korea's foreign ministry says that uh, 33 of its nationals were on board and 19 are still missing. Now, according to initial reports, the boat collided with another vessel and sank late Wednesday night. The police and ambulance say several have been taken to hospital. The search operations are underway, but uh, difficult due to heavy rain and river flooding with strong currents.